Yo, what's up, guys? Naders, um, it's like a fishing guide, I guess. Um, pretty simple. I'm just gonna explain a little bit about fishing, where the fish are, and uh, how to make it easier on you when you're fishing in uh, BFA. Um, the first thing I'd recommend is buying oversized bobbers. They help out a lot when you're trying to fish, like, and you're trying to relax as well. It's not as complicated to click these small little bobbers like these down here. Um, just go to your fishing trainer, and there should be a vendor nearby. You should be like a repair guy. You should say fishing supplies. Uh, and you just buy them here. Oversized bobbers. Super cheap. Two, two gold, nine, nine silver for five of them. You could easily afford that. Um, once you get those, it makes everything better. To be honest, you can just click watch shows at the same time. That's what I've been doing. And normally when I fish, I turn my camera like this too. It takes up a bigger portion of your screen. And then I turn off my UI. And then on my other monitor, I'll just uh, sit here and click my bobber every time I hear the sound cue. Another thing you can do too is if you accidentally tap out, is you can turn on the um, sound in background, which is in sound. Or you go to system, sound, and sound in background. And then every time you fish and you're tabbed out, if you're looking up something, you can you'll hear the fishing noise. Um, I do recommend going back to Legion and getting the the um, the angler. I think it's the angler rod. There's a there's a uh, fishing pole in the Broken Isles. It gives you plus fifteen to your fishing. So once you get maxed out, you can get plus fifteen, and then you got 165. You can b just buy a basic pole though and get plus five. I think there's other ones that can give you a little bit more, like plus ten. But, um, that's pretty much it for just, like, fishing while AFK, pretty much. Um, each zone, inland and out, has their own fish. Um, there's two each, actually. Two fish inland and two coastals. And then there's the salmon that drops. It's the rare fish, or uncommon. Um, the Midnight Salmon has like a 2-5% to 5 chance to drop, and then you have, uh, I think there's 8 other fish to that, yeah, there's 8 other fish to that, so in, in, uh, Zandalar, they're the inland fish, so anytime you're fishing inland, so, you know, inland, you can catch a Great Sea Catfish or a Red Tail Loach, and those are both 50%. And they also both have pools, fishing pools. You'll see just like a little swarm of uh, fish in the water. And then on the coastal, you'll see sand shifters and slimy mackerels. Those are also both 50%. And they also have pools on the coasts. Um, and then the salmon. Now on Kulturas, there are... Great Sea Catfish and Tear Guard Perch, which are also inland, also 50% chance, and also have pools. Then on the coastal, on the coastal part of Kulturas, there are Lane Snappers and Frenzied Fangtooth. And they're both on coastal, they have 50% chance to drop, and they also have pools. Now, while you're fishing on any coastal part, Sand or on Sandalar or Kulturas, you can catch a mount that is called the Great Sea Ray. I'm not sure if it sells that great anymore. It used to be near 100k when the um, expansion dropped, but now I think it's around 20, 25k. It may vary from your server, but it's around like that, uh, not region-wise. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it for fishing. I just recommend getting the oversized bobbers. It makes everything a lot easier when you're just sitting here and not really paying attention and just listen for that sound cue. You'll you can easily get you know sit down and just time will fly and you'll catch a bunch of fish. Um, if you guys like this video, you know hit that thumbs up button. And if you want to subscribe, that'd be awesome. I'm trying to get to a thousand subs. I know it's gonna take a little bit, but I mean I'm on my way. So thank you guys for watching.